guys, what's up and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to give you my full maintenance wash procedure on my M3. First order of business is just to do a quick once around on the car, do a quick inspection. You don't need to spend more than just a few minutes. Have an idea of how dirty your vehicle is. It just depends on how OCD you are in general, but you'll probably get a much better idea when you're washing it, how thorough you need to be. If it's just a few days or if it's a few weeks, it's gonna be much different. So once you've reviewed how the car, the condition of your vehicle is, the first thing I do is start with the wheels. Uh, the two main wheel brushes I use on a regular basis is this flat version from Microfiber Madness, and I also have a large easy detail brush. Just depends on the wheels that you like. Two more brushes I use, I, I have a big plethora, but these are the main ones. This is a one and a quarter inch boar's hair detailing brush I use on the lug nut, and I also use uh, this lambskin wheel mitt from Matt at Obsessed Garage. Very good recommendation, very cheap and lasts a long time, very effective. It lets you use your hand on the whole wheel. Two main products I use for wheels, especially if they're coated and they're not in horrible condition. I use Griot's Garage Wheel Cleaner. It's not very abrasive. It doesn't have any iron removers. It's not very aggressive. So this is just a basic kind of lubricant and kind of very, very basic cleaner I use on my wheels. There's no sense in spending a ton of money on heavy duty wheel cleaner when you don't need it. Other product I use on my wheels, Adams Tire and Rubber Cleaner. My favorite by far, I used to use Griot's Garage, but I switched to Adams and it's honestly twice as good. And my tire specifically, I have a very small, this is like a tough tire shine brush. This is actually not that brand, but it's very close. It works just as good on the tires right here just to give them a quick thorough scrub. And just a quick overview, I do have a pressure washer. This is the infamous Krenzla 1122 TST brought to you by the man Matt at Obsessed Garage. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank you for the full pressure washer package and uh, gun and wand as well. This is the full thing I use every time I wash my vehicle. This is the uh, Mosmatic uh, spray gun. 40 degree tip with the quick connects. If you want any more details on this whole setup, just buy the package right from Matt. Save yourself time and save yourself a big headache of trying to search around for pressure washers. I will say pressure washers are not essential, but they do make the process a lot easier and a lot more fun, especially for foaming. First step is to blast the wheel. BMW M3 Life, quick little break. Tom, good to meet you. Back to detailing. I told him to angle the crap out of it. Next step, rinse. Next step is to grab your shampoo. Normally I use the regular Adams shampoo, but I also have the ultra foaming shampoo right now because I bought a gallon. So I'm using the rest of this up and then I will be back to the regular Adams shampoo. I fill up my foam cannon with just about halfway filled with water and then I top it up with about five to seven ounces of shampoo. And that's a rough estimate people. Foam cannon, swirl it around. Maximum, maximum. So once you've rinsed and once you've foamed, it's time to wash the car with your wash mitt. Two bucket method, grit guards, and we're ready to go. Yes, I only rinse and then foam. I do not rinse and then foam again, and then rinse again, and then foam again, and then rinse and then foam, and then rinse and then foam, and then rinse, because that's a waste of time.
after you rinse naturally the next step is to blow off the car i use this 20 volt battery for my dewalt i already had a bunch of batteries so that's why i got this thing there's plenty of more powerful uh, blowers you can get out there but i usually just start with the big panels i get in the cracks and then i go over with my drying towel of course. And then, because there's rust on the brakes, we're gonna go forward and backward a bunch of times. Oh look, all the rust is gone. Oh look, all the rust is gone on this one. I use a Quasar bottle with CarPro X2O, diluted 1 to 15 as my drying aid. Gion silk dryer, the biggest, just dropped one. The biggest Gion silk dryer you can buy. Spray it on the towel and go to town. Pretty much the last step here guys, Adam's foam block, just because it's easy to get it from their site. I have CarPro Pearl. I've used this since several years now and I love it. Uh, it's not fully diluted, although I did put a little bit of water in here once I used it, so uh, it's pretty much straight. I just don't use a ton of it. finally finished with the car completely done maintenance wash I hope you guys learned something I hope you guys got something out of this the main products I use I've actually been using this process pretty sim similarly for um, maybe close to a year now so I've kind of figured out the ideal process at least for this car these wheels this spec that sort of thing as you get a different vehicle different things work uh, in better and worse ways if that makes sense so hopefully um, you got a lot out of this video I tried to keep it very concise but very specific enough not without too many detail droning on and on for like an hour so I tried to keep it specific just for you guys all of the links for the products I use are in the description below which they always are go feel free to check out other detailing videos where I talk about my wheels my exhaust how I dry the car those videos are much longer and have a lot more detailed information. If you're wondering about my foaming process and why I don't foam and then rinse and then foam and then rinse and then foam and then rinse and then foam and then rinse, there's a video for that up there as well as the helicopters and the planes as well. All right guys, once again, thanks for tuning in to the Shifted Perspective channel. Finally, some more detailing content for you guys. I know how much you love it. So give me a like, comment below if I forgot anything, and I will see you guys in the next one. Boop. Don't make my neighbors hate me.